Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's a very exciting day because I just got my Gizu curling tool, which is their very first hot tool that they're making. And yeah, so, ah, it just got here. So we're gonna unbox it. All right, so here is box within a box but see it comes in like it looks like a um like a toolkit so I'm so excited and this is a um so this is a curling wand as opposed to like a traditional hair curler and I've only used a wand a handful of times so I'm super excited look at this Let's see if you can see that it outlines um like the tool and everything and actually this is made of like um so this is so the container actually isn't plastic even though that's kind of what i thought it was it's actually made of paper pulp um Mauritz was talking about it on the gizu instagram earlier today so that's super awesome that they chose to forego plastic and be more eco-friendly it reminds me a lot of like an egg carton material yeah so we open it up and it comes with a heat protecting mat to set down, which I'm super excited, always nice to have. It has the little manual. And then obviously we have the actual curling tool. And it has like the little, um, the honeycomb like detailing. So I see it's got a little bit of fuzz on it from the packaging, which I think I can just it rubs off pretty easily. But yeah, so it has like a really like a cool kind of a clear like a glow stick look to it. Um, simple on and off button. And then you can just change the temperatures. So yeah, I'm really excited and it's a swivel cord which is also really great. But yeah. All right, so that's it. I love that the packaging is lightweight and eco-friendly. Um, so I kind of just want to talk briefly about it because I will go into my bathroom and do like a full demo for you. But I know that this curling tool has been in the works for at least a couple of years. And I know that Negan had teased it, I think, last year in um, one, of her one of her videos on her YouTube channel. And I think that they put off the launch for a couple of reasons, but it's finally here. And it was only available for pre-order for a few days. So... I was going to pre-order it anyway, but my mom is such a big supporter of my channel that she offered to buy it for me. So, yay. Thank you, mom. And um, so it retails for $129. It's not available anymore, so I'll just keep an eye out um, when it is officially available. But, yeah, I'll let you guys know if I think it's worth it, how I feel like a curling wand works as opposed to like a traditional curling iron with a clamp because I actually have that as well. I want to say the barrel looks a lot like my one and a quarter inch or it might be a one inch so I'll compare like the sizes too but yeah I'm also going to link down um a hair tutorial that Negan did a couple of like last year I think but she also talked about like her best tips which is what you'll see the little sticky note which you'll see in the thumbnail so I'm going to try and go through most of her tips um and kind of see if that makes a difference in my hair so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this unboxing first impression review of Gizu's first official hot tool. So yeah, thank you for watching and let's get into the actual tutorial. All right, we are now in my bathroom and I just plugged in the curling tool and it just has a simple on and off switch. So we're gonna pop that on. It already starts, um, counting up as you can see Oops. so let's just see um i'll see how hot it gets and then when we wait i'm just gonna read a little bit of, like fast facts so it's a u.s type plug but then also eu so you can use it um so it's dual voltage it's one inch ceramic barrel it has 10 temperature settings so it goes up from 280 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 450. I usually put mine around like 380, 390 because my hair is pretty thick and it can handle more heat. 
There is a temperature lock. It beeps when it's done, which I really like. Um, swivel cord, automatic safety shutdown, which is nice. One year warranty, and yeah. So, let's see. Oh, and there's actually some styling tips too. So we can do like her signature curls. So there's eight steps for that. And they also have some natural ways, but yeah. Okay. So I was originally gonna follow um, Negan's like actual tutorial that she did um, for like curling to get her waves, but there's like 12 different steps and I don't really have like all the products and stuff. So we're just gonna kind of go for it. So first things first, I'm gonna separate my hair from the ears up. All right, so I got my hair clip, okay. Um, I may or may not use my heat protectant glove from my INH hair waiver. I'll see if I'm, you know, capable of doing it without it. So we're just gonna take uh, about this much hair. Oh wait, so it's only at 280, so I'm actually gonna, it's on lock, so. Okay, so the temperature is locked. <laughs> I just need to see how to unlock it. Press and hold the minus button for three seconds to unlock it. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna pump it up to, let's do 390. So we're going from 280 to 390. It's locked, so it locks if you don't press the temperature buttons after three seconds, which is nice. Looks like it heats up pretty fast, so <clears throat> we're almost to the desired temperature. And apparently like, the more you use it at your regular temperature, like the more like used to you the curling iron will be. The curling wand will be so it'll automatically like you know heat up to all right it's at 380 it beeped twice so let me know that so now let's just grab my piece of hair and i'm just gonna hold it like this start at the root leave the ends out it says hold between five to ten seconds Then I'm gonna let it fall into my hands. And just let it, we're just not gonna touch it. I know that that's definitely um, a tip of Negan's, don't touch it, just let it cool down. So let's get another piece. And she did mention alternating the wave, so maybe I'll alternate it. Let it fall again, catch it, and let it fall. So yeah, so right now they're pretty waved. Um, Oh, the very top doesn't get too hot, so you are able to like touch that. Okay, so that's nice. Because I was getting too paranoid. Okay, so let's get these under layers. This one's a little thick, so maybe I'll do a thinner piece. Oh, it's so hard not to touch the curl. Okay. Um, it's hard for me to start at the root sometimes just because my hair is so short. So this side is curled, this side is not. Um, yeah, I am just gonna leave them. I'm not gonna brush them out yet because they're still pretty warm. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and my opposite side is always more challenging just cause it just always is. So I'm wondering if I should use my opposite hand to hold it. Oh, actually I know what I can do. 
Um, I do have their Propolis Primer, which I used when I blow dried my hair last night. And I also used um, this Kerastase one because I am trying to grow my hair out. So let's just take a small amount of this. I never really used like hair primers. Um, the thing that I used that was like the most similar was the um, the Way Finishing Cream, which I really love. But yeah, since I don't have any heat protection, we'll just use this and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so now let's grab a piece. I'm actually gonna hold it with this hand. Ooh, weirdly enough, this feels easier with my left hand. Ooh, I love how that curl turned out. Don't know how the heck I did that, so that'll be fun to try to replicate. Oh, I think it's how I wrapped around the barrel. Ouch. Okay, I did just myself a slightly bit um it's fine it's fine we're fine okay let's do some of these pieces all right so this side of my hair just ends up being like a natural wave and that's fine with me that's probably what i would prefer than to like the big voluminous curls at least for every day at least until my hair gets longer so let's just try to get more of this done i do have a lot of hair too so um i'll obviously like speed through like some of the more longer clips All right, you can clearly see a difference. And I'm still not gonna touch them. I'm gonna wait till the end to style them out. So let's do this side. And I'm just gonna do thicker pieces just to get on with it. So I want to do. I'm honestly not too worried about like the very bad because no one's gonna see it, you know? Okay, so. This looks good. I think that looks nice. So I'm actually just gonna go in with a little bit of the primer and then shake it out. What I like about the primer though, um, it says you only need like a pea sized amount and that's like definitely true, but it's just nice because it doesn't wear your hair down. Great, let's do it. Well, my hair is like definitely voluminous. I feel like if my hair was longer, I would definitely have like very similar hair to um, Megan's. To Megan's. Wow. It looks really nice though. Like, holy crap, it looks so voluminous. I'm just trying to see if there's pieces I want to like touch up. But yeah, as you can see, like this piece is like some pieces like definitely more like a nice wave versus like super curly so i really like that you can get 
um, a couple of different looks. Yeah, let me go show you in the light. Okay, here is a natural light. My hair is so dark, it's hard to see, but um, yeah, it's so voluminous. Um, I feel like I love that you can achieve like different waves. I look a little washed out right this second. But yeah, that looks so nice. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. What do we think? I know my hair is like really dark, so it's hard to set the individual pieces, so I'll just like pick a few out. But um, I feel like it looks so nice. And since it's such a stark background behind me, you can see there's like very minimal frizz. And I didn't use any heat protectant. I used the polishing primer on this half of my hair before I put the um, before I used the curling tool. This side I didn't, but then I used the polishing primer to like just finish it and uh, break up the waves on both sides. So I feel like it definitely helps. But yeah, I love how it turned out. So for me, the curling, uh, like a wand style, I think is, it gives me more of like the beachy curls that I want, which I think is really nice because sometimes with the curling iron, I'll have trouble like if I get out of the rhythm of how to like properly make the waves that I want. And sometimes it can just look too bushy, whereas this looks bushy, but not, okay, not bushy, but this looks more like voluminous and you can actually like see the waves versus sometimes when I do like a curling iron, I feel like I lose that wave shape sometimes. But yeah, it's really easy to use. I love that it auto locks the temperature so that you're not actually like, because since the buttons are like kind of where you would, like where you directly have a clamp, it'd be easy to like actually change the temperature, but it locks. Um, what else do I like about it? I love that it came with the heat protectant map. I love that the tip, like, I want to say it's like half an inch to an inch at the end is, um, I don't know what you call it, like heat resistant. It's like made of rubber so that when you're actually, like, when you're holding like the piece, uh, like while you're curling your hair, you don't burn yourself, which is really nice. So I didn't use my heat resistant glove because I didn't need to, which was really nice. And let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I really love it. And I think this would definitely be the new way I curl my hair. I, I'm trying to think. So $129 is a lot. They do offer free shipping on Gizu and there were no taxes, which was nice. Um, if you have a curling, um, curling wand that you really like, I would just stick with it, you know, unless you are looking for something that has like the features that I was mentioning. Since this is my first curling wand, I really love it. And I think I would use it probably more than my curling irons. So if you're in the market for just like a new curling hair tool in general, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, obviously the branding's on point because it's a beautiful like little carrying case. It kind of has everything you need and I don't know, I just love everything about it. So yeah, and I love these waves. So I'll see how long they last. So this is Tuesday. But yeah, I'll probably post on my Instagram later on in the week and see how long I'm able to retain these curls because I don't use hairspray and I'm just using the polishing primer and I used a little bit of like some Kerastase cream and then this hair oil that I have. So yeah, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.